I've learned that uh, aging is a very difficult process, particularly for those who really haven't accepted that we probably will age. You mean that like makes all, it harder. the whole baby boom generation? Right, exactly. I mean, we never thought it was going to happen to us. So it's a bit of a surprise when it does. What does it mean to you? I think it means <clears throat> trying to understand and accept what the limitations are while at the same time denying them as strongly as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give an example? Well, I think the for me, aging in terms of um, athletic performance has been a measure of of my aging and also a measure of my defying it. And I think what I've found is that so much of aging is attitude. If you believe you can continue doing the things you've always liked to do and continue doing them well, you probably can. You won your first triathlon world championship at what age? I started doing triathlons when I turned 50. I won my first world championship when I was 63. In Australia? In Australia. 63, 64? Uh, yeah. One thing about aging is you can't remember how old you are. You don't want to but there's some degree, isn't there, of luck? Oh, absolutely. Luck, genetics. Um, I do wonder what will happen when all my luck and genetics run out. And I, I suppose there will be a time when I won't be able to uh, do triathlons or ski the bumps. or, And then we'll see how well I adjust to aging. So far, I haven't had to face that. How much time do you spend these days being grateful for your ability to be fit and active? I do spend a lot of time being grateful for that. Particularly for me, since my sister has just become ill, um, it is just emphasized to me, who is six years younger than I am, how grateful I am and lucky I am to have the health that I do. How does the gratitude manifest itself in your life? I mean, there are times when I'm skiing down the mountain or riding my bike or running when I just you know, terrifically grateful that I am able to do this. It also improves my performance. When I'm in a in a a big race, a world championships race, much of my mental attitude is focused on I am so privileged to be able to have the ability to do this. And that helps. Ah. It does create a better performance. This program is being sponsored by the Chicago Council on Science and Technology. Science and technology have been of substantial aid to your ability to compete. Can you talk a Absolutely. little about that? P particularly in, in terms of, of my health with injuries. You know, there, there's so much new um, medical application for, for athletes, and for anyone, um, to keep your body together at this stage. Whenever I have an injury, which is frequently, um, my back is probably my biggest area of concern. I will immediately uh, go to the doctor, attend to it, do whatever you have to do, uh, take anti-inflammatories. Um, I will take the most aggressive treatment possible immediately as soon as, an as soon as an injury occurs. And that's made a big difference. When I was first starting triathlon, as you may remember, I did have an accident. And the physician that I went to said, um, you have a chronic back injury. I think you should go home and take up knitting and you should never run again. I didn't pay any attention to him, fortunately. You're having a great time. You're aging well. Give us some advice. Again, I think the advice to age well or as well as you possibly can is, is attitude. I mean, if you still believe you can do whatever it is you think you can do, uh, that makes a tremendous difference. And when you come up those against those inevitable obstacles, those injuries, or the part of your body falls apart, um, if you simply attack it aggressively and don't listen to the physicians that tell you you can't do it, um, 
you probably can't. I mean, the best advice is just keep doing it. Thank you, Elizabeth Brackett. We'll look forward to seeing you on the 5th of February at the Chicago Council for Science Technologies panel, Aging Well. Thank you, Aaron.